Alrighty, well, good morning everybody. Yeah, it's cast time once again, and um, let me go ahead and uh, intro this. Oh, and uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be an old school cast right here. There's no images, no video clips, no gifs, no nothing. So it's just gonna be me. It's just gonna be me talking. So and um, so what I'm gonna be showing here is a virtual walk through a tropical forest. Um, but yeah, just, let me um, let me go ahead and just rewind this back. This is actually part of the cast itself right here. Um, Pro Art Inc. I thought that was saying Pro Arctic. And um, I what I uh, about 10, 15 minutes ago, I actually watched a behind the scenes and uh, how the guy does this. He just he grabs his big old heavy camera with a big old big humongous lens, and he just basically just holds it out in front of him and just walks. Or you know he. So that's the camera to record, record and just holds it on and just starts walking. So, I pick up, because for the longest time, because it, it keeps saying, it keeps saying virtual walk. I keep thinking it's like either A, it's all computer generated or and or you're just, uh, just a, a little drone's being piloted remotely. Like, you know, somebody sitting in the comfort of his own home or somewhere at a distance with a little controller and, you know, having this little journal, you know, just hover, hovering above the ground, you know, recording everything. But no, um, there's an actual guy that does this. <clears throat> but he, uh, he also said uh, he had to be very strong in order to do it, and I believe him. The camera he lugs around with him is actually pretty big. Sure, he's got some pretty big arms and chest muscles from uh, carrying this camera around so much. Because he's got a pretty big channel. It's like 4K something. I don't know the whole name of it, but... Or Pro Art Inc. Duh. But yeah, he, he's he got a bunch of these. But uh, <clears throat> I'm, not a, I'm not a real big fan of Tropical Forest. It just doesn't do, any, do much for me. Oh, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. But oh, um, the reason I picked this one though was because uh, it it was the only one I could find at the time that didn't have any music in the background. That that is one downside of this channel. A lot of the stuff that he's playing has like just music in the background. Really, no, no. Um, I said this. I said the same thing about outer space footage. And I'll say the same thing here too. M music, no matter how peaceful it sounds, it really fucks up these kind of videos. The same with the outer space ones, like the planet Earth footage and whatnot. They'll um, they'll totally ruin ruin the awesomeness of that stuff by having like orchestral shit playing in the background. See, so, no, I, I mean, I, I, I want to hear nothing but space itself. That's it. Same thing here. I want to hear nothing but nature itself. I don't want to hear acoustic guitar stuff in the background. I mean, I love me some acoustic guitar instrumental music, but not in a nature video. So, but otherwise, pretty rough week this week. Um, like has been going on. Um, my... And in my work week, my lower lower back hurting pretty bad. Both my shoulders pretty wrecked. So I've got a. I can't remember what I said a lot, long time ago, but I've got shoulder impingement, especially in my left shoulder. If um. If I especially true if I if I grab something heavy, or if I'm a. Uh, it, it's really hard to explain, but if you can picture, if you can picture taking your left arm, holding it out, kind of like um, uh, kind of like what a butter. What a oh, dumbbell flies, yeah. I, my brain locked up, but you know, like dumbbell flies. You know, you you got two you got two dumbbells. You hold them out to your side, the sides of your body, and you bring those two those two dumbbells in, in, and then out. You know, kind of like that. Well, that was that's where a lot of the pain my pain was. That's what causes a lot of my pain right there. Um, if I'll grab. 
I'll grab something. Like, even if it's something, I'll, you know, like, turning a doorknob. Turning a doorknob, because it's causing my arm to rotate inward. Or you're, 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 uh, turning your left, turning your arm, turning your arm into a, in a clockwise motion. Or you, I should, I should say your left arm in a clockwise motion. So, I'm, I'm in somewhat of a hurry. Um, I'm trying to keep the file size down on this, so chan chances are this might be a short cast. But anyway, if you can picture turning your left arm in a clockwise motion, that kind of, it's like, it's also called inward rotation. That, that triggers it. Just, oh! So, but, uh, I've got a little bit of it in my right shoulder, but not near as much as what I have in my left. <laughs> it looks like that tree's got an erection. <laughs> Look at that. Wood's got wood. Huh. Let's see what this tree looks like. Oh, probably showing all the green shit growing on it. Uh, may maybe he noticed that too. Hey, this tree's got an erection. Let's go check it out. But um, otherwise, just played a lot of jump, played a lot of jumps of war. Um, just doing a lot of grinding. I'm trying to get a new uh, trying to get a new weapon. And in this game here, for those that don't know, um, you can you can get you can earn additional weapons by getting 250 wins while playing a certain class. It doesn't matter it doesn't matter where you get those wins as long as you're getting them. So you can do like the lowest level content or the highest level. It don't matter. But I got a I just tried it out in this uh, on this build I got. Um, there's some kinks to iron out. I was really struggling with it. Like, even... Like, I was having a... Oh, how can I explain it? But I was... I was have, basically having just as many problems doing, like, the mid-tier content as I did the high-tier stuff. So, come to find out later, there's this, uh... There's a certain card that I, that I need to have that I don't... That's also needed for this build, so... Back to the old drawing board. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm gonna take a drink of uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, this I want to see. Man, that's a whole lot of tree graffiti right there. God, look at that. I mean, I mean, freaking cool as hell if all the trees in here are like this. Like, they all have stuff drawn on them. Yeah, look at that. Andrew plus Jake. <laughs> Order by Andrew... I wonder if Andrea and Jake were, were boinking each other underneath this tree. I wonder how many, I wonder how many people uh, were having sex right by this tree, and then after, after they were done, done and cleaned up, they uh, carved out their uh, name on here. Billy loves Jenny, you know, that kind of thing. Hey, that's some white wood. Um, otherwise, um, I also watched a fair amount of, uh, you, you guys have probably heard me mention this channel before, Do Not Eat. Uh, I just started, uh, just watched a bunch, watched a fair amount of his videos, too. Um, it seems, it seems I'm in, uh, I'm in that phase now. And for those that don't know who Do Not Eat is, he's, uh, 
I think he's a, he's a civil engineer. I think he was also a city planner. And I guess he was also a game designer, too. And uh, he was one of the people that inspired me to, to add, like, you know, add visual stuff to my videos. Because up until recently, this is all you saw. Just, you know, nature, you know, that's why I call this an old school cast. This is how I used to do it. Just show some light footage like this and just talk. But, um, uh, as of recently, I went with just playing, um, just playing, like, music. And then just, you know, adding some visuals, you know, video, video clips, GIFs, images, whatnot. But after watching how, why after watching how he did his videos, they're, they're not, they're not that sophisticated. But they're, they're pretty cool. I mean, they're pretty pleasing to look at. You know, you don't have to be a, you don't have to be an Emperor Lemon or, or WatchMojo.com or anything like that in order to make, you know, in order to make good videos. So, he, like I said, he was the one that inspired me to, to kind of try, try some. He was the one that inspired me to try some new stuff out. Sorry, my brain locked up. That's a cool looking sunlight. Like it's all kind of bluish green and all. So, oh yeah, and he also uh, he also did a video called Black Wall Street, which uh, I guess back in the 1920s, this actually occurred uh, occurred in Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is where I used to live for like 20 years. Um, mo most most of you people probably don't. Have, probably never even heard of this but driller stadium it's where the uh tulsa drillers play it's a it's a minor league baseball team i used to go there fairly often or not not often but i've gone there from time to time but yeah i guess uh that uh driller stadium was actually on this video i guess it actually it was actually built in like the 1920s like what well, black wall street was uh oh how can i explain it it was basically a predominantly uh, black community but it was one of the, I think it was one of the, how can I, kind of hard to explain. And even then, I might be wrong, but it was one of the few well and, well and truly local places. Like, I mean, they, uh, all the black people in this community, they worked abroad. They worked in different places, but they all lived in this place. They all lived in this place, and they all shopped here. So... All the money that changed hands in this in this place never left, and um, and if I recall correctly too, I think the the book I was reading, Strong Towns, I think the author uh, he kind of said the same thing too. I mean, there's hardly any wealth at all being you know being exchanged around inside the city. You know, there's not much money being changed. You know, not much money changing hands locally. It's all being outsourced. You know. You know all the you know all the wealth in a in a community is you know it's all it's all being out it's all going outbound like you know nothing's hardly being spent locally but Greenwood that's the name of the place uh, I think it's a city or not a Greenwood Street but he he calls it Greenwood it's like a little section of Tulsa but yeah this um the section here um all the all the money, all the money stayed in that location, Greenwood. Like, you know, they weren't, you know, these black people, they weren't spending it in other places. It was all, so. But yeah, I think, but I've only, I've only seen this once. So I don't remember much about it, but yeah, it, uh. Some black kid tripped and fell in an elevator, and back in those times, you had an elevator operator. This one was a girl, a white girl. So, this black kid tripped and fell in the elevator and uh, just, you know, when he was falling, oh, he put a, he grabbed his hands on her to try to, you know, help, you know, try to break his fall by grabbing her. Um, well, apparently, I mean, back then, segregation, racism, that kind of thing. They, uh, the newspaper, the racist newspaper, um, printed that, uh, spun it as though he was trying to rape her. So a black guy trying to rape a white girl. You can only imagine how well that went. Big old, uh, big, um, 
they had a big old lynch mob trying to mob a uh, city hall, I think it was. Either city hall or a courthouse, can't remember, but uh event eventually um the all the black people from Greenwood, they came down oh that's what it was. Um for the for this kid's safety, because, I mean I mean the lynch mob the lynch mob, they were after this kid that allegedly that allegedly but never happened to try to rape her. Um they had a lock they actually they actually had to lock him up in prison just for his own safety. And there was like a lynch mob like outside the um outside the door and stuff. But eventually um a bunch of blacks came down and they tried to you know, they're trying to they're trying to protect the kid or they're trying No, that was it. They um they were offering their services to uh, the sheriff to the local sheriff. The local white sheriff, which I found kinda interesting. So, but, but eventually it just, it became a big mess. And, um, but after the, after the cleanup, you know, because of all the, you know, trying to replace all the buildings that got burned down and whatnot, one of the things, one of the, one of the buildings, quote unquote, or one of the quote unquote buildings, excuse me, that got replaced was Driller Stadium. So I thought that was, I thought that was pretty interesting. So, so yeah, learn. Learn a little bit of history. Um, but otherwise, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here. Um, I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say, so um, now I really gotta get, I really gotta set to get this video uploaded and processed, and it's probably gonna take a while. We're looking at at least um, a gigabyte, possibly two or more. So, I really gotta snap to it, but. Otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everyone. And see you all next time. Bye for now.